Hi, my name is Craig Birch, Principal Security Engineer at Tenable. Today, I'm going to teach you how to configure LDAP authentication in the Tenable for AD platform. Configuring LDAP authentication. Tenable AD supports the below types of authentication. The built-in Tenable AD authentication, which is the default LDAP authentication secure SAML single sign-on as well. Today, we'll be focusing on LDAP authentication. The prerequisites for setting this up are, you need to know the LDAP server hostname IP and port. You'll have to have a read-only service account to your LDAP server. You'll need to know the LDAP search base and then configure the ODAP search filter. And for today's demonstration, we're gonna be using SAM account login. In addition, you'll need to create two Active Directory security groups. One that will be used for administrative access to the platform, and the other will be used for standard access to the platform. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's create those prerequisites. So let's open up Active Directory users and computers. And the first thing we're gonna do is create a brand new service account. So we're gonna create a new user and you can use any naming standard that your organization um, enforces. I'm gonna use LDAP-tenable.ad or LDP.tenable.ad. And then what we're going to do is, this is a service account, so I'm gonna set up for user cannot change password and password never expires. And then we wanna give it a secure password. And then obviously you, you need to make sure this meets your password standards for my demo. Now that we have the account created, we're gonna go ahead and click finish. And then what we're going to do is create those two groups we talked about. The first group being for our admins. So I'm going to create a brand new group called TAD underscore admins. And then I'm going to create a new group called TAD underscore users. Let's go ahead and add someone to the group. So I'm going to go to the members of that group and I'm just gonna add in my account, C Birch. Okay, now that I've met the requirements for setting up the LDAP authentication, I am gonna go ahead and jump to the platform. So let's actually jump over to the platform and let's jump in the trail flow first. And the reason why we're going to jump into trail flow is we're going to need the DN of those new groups. And the easy way to get that is since we're already in our platform is to simply go into our trail flow and look at those new objects. That first one being the TA underscore at TAD underscore admins. Let's just go ahead and copy that DN because that's what we're going to need the distinguished name out of trail flow and paste it into notepad, for example. We're gonna need that later, so I wanna save that. And then let's go grab the other one, TAD underscore users. And again, we're gonna need that distinguished name. So again, I'm going to copy that into notepad so I can save that for later. Now that I have that information, I'm going to go over into the Tenable for AD platform, click on system, configuration, and then go in and click on under the authentication tab, we're going to click on LDAP. Now we're going to toggle enable LDAP authentication. And you can see I already had mine pre-configured. So what the first thing we're going to need is to know the host or IP and port of our LDAP server, which mine happens to be 
10.200, 200.4, and then I'm gonna use colon 389 to connect to normal LDAP port 389. If you were to configure LDAP S, that would be LDAP S, then the host name, and then colon 636. We created a brand new service account called LDP dash tenable AD. And then what we did is we, we you know, configured, we're gonna set up a password in here for that service account. So let's go ahead and do that. Our LDAP search base is going to be our domain name. So the root of the domain, mine happens to be DC equals Alcid, comma DC equals Corp. And then for the LDAP search filter, we wanna use SAM account name. So as you can see, it needs to be in this very specific format. So we have bracket SAM account name equals curly bracket, curly bracket, login, curly bracket, curly bracket, close bracket. And then what we're gonna to wanna to do is set up those LDAP group names. So again, I've, I have mine here, I have TAD underscore admins. Then you, what I suggest if you're using a custom profile, you set the default profile to your custom profile, well, you can certainly make it the default tenable profile as well. I went ahead and set it to my custom profile. And then I'm gonna assign this to the global administrator role. Once I've assigned that to my global administrator role, let's go ahead and we're going to then add in, you know, click on the add button. And then we're going to paste in that DN of TA underscore users. Again, I'm going to assign that to my custom profile and assign that to the standard users. Now that I've done that, I can actually click save. And now to test this, I can actually log off of my platform. And now I should be able to log in with my old app account. And as you can see it, now we are logging in with Tenable AD with our LDAP configuration. Thank you and have a good day.